to really hear about the, the, the specifics of doing business with the government, you've got to come to some of our classes. We have an intro class that will be scheduled for September the 24th, uh, I'm sorry, uh, September, uh, October the 8th, right here at the chamber. So you wanna learn about all these acronyms, DOD, DOE, DBD, or whatever, you come to that class and you'll find out how to do business with the government. And, and we're also gonna have uh, for you manufacturers and distributors, we're gonna bring in Defense Supply Center Columbus. Defense Supply Center Columbus, uh, they purchase $1.2 billion of automotive and replacement parts, uh, and they're from Columbus, Ohio. They will be here on October the 13th. You can find out about that also through the chamber. On the 24th, we're gonna do a, uh, September the 24th, a seminar on uh, how to get on the GSA schedule. Now that is for a select few people. If you don't know what GSA is, it's, do not come to this seminar. <laughs> but here is my contact information. And um, uh, we, um, uh, we were proud to work with uh, uh, Y-12 on the East Tennessee uh, Veterans Conference we have the PTAC contract with the Department of Defense for Tennessee. So that's where our services are free. We do not charge for our services. And so um, if you go to our website, www.ptactennessee.edu, uh, you'll find out how to become a client. Like I said, I uh, don't have any boxes, Victor, but it's funny the presentation that they made is pr pretty much exactly what I was gonna say, and I did not collaborate with them. So it must be uh, true, some of the things they're saying. Um, and, and again, this is kind of 50,000 feet stuff. If you wanna know more specifics about how to get on the CCR, which is one of the primary things you have to do uh, to, to do business with the federal government, and you have to do your ARCA, and then you need to register with the different uh, agencies. Those kind of things, I can't tell you in 10 minutes. I'm already uh, five minutes behind schedule. <laughs> so you gotta come to class to hear more about that. But I am gonna talk about uh, the fact that doing business with the federal government is like doing business with the fi uh, private sector. It's, it's no different. You've got to understand your customer you gotta learn who your customer is. The, the government has uh, different ways that they do things. The, the Army does things differently from the Navy. Uh, Navy does different from Air Force, so forth and so on. So if you do not do your, uh, your due diligence, you do your market research, you figure out how they're currently purchasing certain things. You, you know, just because you're a small business, you still got to go in and try to understand that customer, understand what their problems are. See if you can be a benefit to them in terms of solving some of those problems. So um, that's all a part of establishing a relationship. Um, uh, some decisions that, uh, some purchases that they make is strictly a price situation. You need to know that. In some cases, it's more about your technical capability and your past performance. So the only way to know that is, is to get to know that customer. And if it's strictly priced, there are cases where you can bid on things and you never even meet the customer in the government sector. But there are other situations where you need to really get in and bring up that elevator speech that uh, Weldon talked about and really get to know them uh, from the standpoint of how you can be advantage to them.